हेलो एवरी वन सो वी विल गो फॉर आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इंटरफेसिस we already covered that topic abstract class now we are covering that topic interfaces and after that we will go for the detailed difference between the abstract class and interfaces we we'll start with interface what is interface interface is similar to a class but we have two major differences between a interface and a class in interface all methods are public by default but in the class we have a option to give its public private or protected in interface all methods are abstract methods it means we will only define the things into that methods we will not write any code there is no implementation but in the class you have a option to write a code in that particular method so there are two major differences between a interface and a class in interface all methods are public by default and in interface all methods are abstract method it means we will not able to write a code in any of the method there will only only be definition so we we'll start with practical part now now we'll firstly start with sc24 with the help of sc24 you can create a interface also but that will be a global interface i will go to sc24 i will give some name to the interface suppose i am saying z interface underscore i am putting some serial number i'll click on create button now previously we always created the class now we will create the interface so i'll select the radio button interface okay i will give the description suppose interface for displaying the data no i will not write the word display interface for declaring the things interface for declaring the path i'll go for save i will save it as a local object and i am activating this interface you can go to sc24 and check any of the class which we created you can see same to same tabs are here we have some little bit difference of one or two tabs property interface friends attribute methods everything is here yes so but we have two major differences we'll cover those differences suppose i am giving some method name suppose display i will give the type of the method as instance and suppose i will give the description to display the details and you can see there is no way to check set that this method is public private or protected because in interface all methods are public by default but in the class you have a option to choose 
public, private, or protected. Now, second important point. If suppose firstly I will declare some parameters. I will take one input and four output parameters. P E R num P V B type. First is importing, and all four are exporting. ER dat ER ZET ER num sorry VB type. So I took one importing and four exporting parameters, but I cannot write a code in this method. There is no source code button. But whenever you went for a class, there is a source code button where you can write the code. So interface is just like similar to a class, but you cannot go for the visibility of the method. Plus, you cannot write a code in any of the methods. All methods are by default abstract methods only. Now, what we will do? We will create subclasses and we will use this interface inside those subclasses. We'll go for that. I will create a first subclass. Suppose I will write subclass for sales. I'll click on the create button. Now I'm creating a class to display the sales order details. I'll click on OK. OK. I'm activating my subclass. Now, whatever the interface I created, I will use that interface here. How to use? I will go to Interfaces tab and I will pass the name of the interface which I created. This was our interface which we created. I'm passing. Now, whenever I will go to methods tab, you can see the interface method display is automatically appearing into the class. And the most important point is how that method is appearing in the class interface name tilde operator method name it is very important point because it will be used in the future how that method will appear interface name tilde operator method name now can i write a logic in this method yes i can write a logic in the method because it is a class i'll go to source code tab and in this particular method, I will write a logic to fetch data from VBAK table. Select single ER dat ER ZDT ER num VB type from VBAK into P E R dat P E R Z E T P E R num P V B time where V B E L N is equal to P V B E L N. 
so what we did we created one interface and with the help of that interface we created one class and in that class we use that particular interface and in that class we wrote the logic in that method now suppose i will create another subclass now and i will use the same to same interface in my second subclass also to display the billing details save local object now i will pass the same to same interface in the second subclass also method automatically appeared interface name tilde operator method name now i will write the logic in that method now in this subclass i will write the logic to fetch data from bbrk table bb type erzet er dat er num i'll check the sequence from the table bb type then we have okay er num er zet and er dat okay from bb rk select single into pvp type p er num p er zet p er dat where pbeln is equal to pvp i'll check the syntax and i will activate this particular class so what we learned in this particular video you created one interface you declared the things into a method you created two subclasses you use the same interface into first class you use the same interface into second subclass also in the first subclass you wrote the logic to fetch data from bb ak in the second subclass you wrote the logic to fetch data from bb rk if you remembered the same thing we did while during abstract class also in the abstract class we took one abstract method we created one subclass we wrote the logic to display the sales order details we wrote the logic in second subclass to display the billing document details same thing we are doing here rather than abstract class now we have a interface so interface is also also exhibiting the property polymorphism we have multiple forms in the first subclass we achieved the property of sales document in the second subclass we achieved the property of billing document so interface is also also exhibiting the property of polymorphism so what we learned in this particular video what interface is how it is different from a class and how you can create the subclasses using that particular interface rest part will continue in the next video thank you